We're going to take a look at a back and forth that was captured by CTV when Justin Trudeau stopped into Sault Ste. Marie and offered free donuts to steelworkers as they filed into work. What sets this confrontation apart from most others is that the man challenging Trudeau is in no way offensive. He doesn't use any foul language, doesn't hurl any insults, and keeps a respectful tone throughout the discussion. Let's have a look. First thing that jumps out is how Trudeau just plows right into handshake mode. If you really watch carefully, you'll see the main steel worker back away from Trudeau as he goes in for the handshake. Looks like Trudeau even tries to ignore him at first as the steel worker is trying to say something to him and Trudeau just keeps on shaking those hands like a madman but he can't avoid that steel worker because he's staying close to the other workers. Trudeau announces there are plenty of free donuts to which the gentleman quips that maybe he can bring some home to his kids. Uh, uh, again. Well, we, got, we got donuts over here if you want to, to thank you for your hard work. Maybe I can bring some for my kids here. Okay. Uh, the 25% tariff we just brought in from Chinese Steel is yeah. going to help you out. That's going to keep my sure. job, yeah. That's going to keep job. What about the, 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 what about the uh, 40% taxes I'm paying? And, and I don't have a doctor? The $400 million that we yeah. invested in investing in the uh, card? Yeah. He brings up that he doesn't have a family doctor, but unfortunately he brings that up at the exact same time that he asks Trudeau a financial question. So while that is a great question, Trudeau is forced to pick one or the other. And that statement about his doctor unfortunately goes unanswered. Well, have a job for I think you're only here for another year. We won't see you around probably another year. Well, I, guess. I love it. We're only going to have you around for another year. By now, Trudeau is quite accustomed to meeting with people who don't like him, but I don't think he was anticipating this. What I love is there's nothing rude or abrasive about this steel worker. Just pure straight talk, which is complete and total kryptonite to Justin Trudeau. If you watch him carefully in other footage, you'll see Trudeau is always taken aback by polite contention. So if you ever do run into him, don't go low and give him a chance to go high. Be like this steel worker that you see here. Just be polite, be straight to the point, and you'll completely throw him off by doing so. so that's what elections yeah. are for. That's right, that's right. And I, I, I look forward to everyone exercising the right to vote. Yep. I'm a basic choice. We're going to invest in you and your job. So I, don't, I don't believe you for a second. Like I said, delivery and tone are everything, and we're so accustomed to watching Trudeau opponents scolding him, yelling obscenities at him, and in some cases, making themselves look worse than the Prime Minister. Definitely not the case here. Once again, I love the fact that he called Trudeau a liar without actually saying it. Uh, dental care? Do you know anyone who got dental care? Yeah, I pay for it myself. Okay. We're like three years behind. The, the dental care program was never a liberal initiative to begin with. We all know this. It was a concession rolled out to appease the NDP to avert an early election. That's what makes things so weird and awkward when the liberals try to bring it up. It just comes across as so forced and lacking any and all authenticity. Yeah, uh, four, but we four got people seniors. in my family. We've got Every seniors. time we go for a dental visit, mm -hmm. it's costing me about $50 in my pocket per mm -hmm. person. Okay. Why? I have a good job. You're not really doing anything for us, Justin. Well, actually, we, we, we just invested so half a million people who haven't been to the dentist. Yeah. Got to go to the dentist over the past few Probably months. Probably like my neighbor that doesn't go to work because she's lazy. Well, she you know doesn't go to work. She lives the same Most way if I do. Canadians try to stick up for each other. Wrong answer, Justin. This. This right here is one of the most telling parts of the video. It might not look like it on the surface, but I'll do my best to explain. Justin Trudeau is a champagne socialist. He was raised with money and never had to contend with any of the concerns faced by our steelworker over here. He never had to worry about his paycheck not being able to cover his family's needs. He's never experienced what it's like to fall behind on your finances despite putting in long, hard hours on the job. So when a hardworking Canadian is struggling despite doing everything that's expected of him in our society and they see someone putting in no effort and yet getting a better living than they do, they feel like chumps. And rich kid Justin's outlook on the steelworker's lazy neighbor is he defaults to defending her. And this goes to explain why Trudeau keeps failing and slumping in the polls. He just can't wrap his mind around the concept of a meritocracy. That's what we're going to keep doing. Yeah. Good yeah. luck and take care of your family, oh, sir. No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. Have a nice day. Have a good day, sir. All right. Right, the other guys got they got the donuts excellent well the other guys they've got the donuts yay free donuts 
probably from an unsanitary Tim Hortons staffed by temporary foreign workers. This video isn't even a full minute and a half long and it perfectly summarizes Trudeau's reign. Well, with that, I thank you guys for watching and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, especially with the video I've got coming up soon on Reddit and the negative impact it now has on our politics. I'll see you guys in the next one.